Today we're going to look at simplifying ratios. A ratio is simplified by dividing the numbers in the ratio by their highest common factor. So if we've got the ratio 15 is to 25, it's not in, uh, in simplified form, it's not in the lowest form that we can get it. The highest common factor of 15 and 25 is 5, it's the biggest number we can divide them both by. So if we divide 15 by 5 we get 3 and 25 divided by 5 we get 5. And this is an equivalent ratio, an equivalent ratio because we've divided them both by the same number. And we can't, both of these numbers are prime now, they, uh, they're only, high, their co only common factor is 1 uh, and dividing them by 1 isn't going to do anything. So this is the simplified form, it's the easiest and lowest form that we can get to. And it's convention that whenever we express a ratio, we express it in these simplest terms, in this simplified form. And the reason for that is because it makes it much easier to work with later on when we're trying to find different quantities. If we've got it in simplest form, uh, where, it's, where all the numbers are as low as they can possibly be, it's going to be a lot, lot easier for us to uh, work with. Simplified ratios used whole, use whole numbers only. So if, the, if, these, if in a simplified ratio you, um, you get a decimal number or a fraction, what you've done is you've, you've, you might have divided it by a number that's too high, a number that's bigger than, it's, than the highest common factor of the two numbers. So you need to go back and check uh, that you've got the highest common factor of the two numbers. If, we've got, if we do get fractions in a ratio, they can be multiplied by the lowest common deno denominator between the fractions and that will uh, make, th make the ratio uh, use only whole numbers. So if we've got, look at the common denominators here, the, the lowest common denominator we can get is 6. So I can multiply this, uh, this by uh, 2 to make that 6 um, on, the, on the bottom, okay, um, to get a common denominator between both of them. So 6 is going to be the lowest common denominator of the two fractions. We've got 6 as a denominator here and we can get a common denominator by multiplying by 2. So if we multiply this fraction here, 1 third by 6, that gives us 2. If we multiply this fraction here by 6, that gives us 5. And you can see now, uh, we've, there, it's an equivalent fraction because we've multiplied by, by the same number for both of those numbers and we've removed the fractions. We've got whole numbers there, our, our ratio ex is expressed with whole numbers. The ratio of 2 is to 5. So let's look at a couple of examples. First example, we're going to simplify these ratios. So if we're looking at 7 and 21, the highest common factor of 7 and 21 is 7. So we can divide both of those numbers by 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1, and 21 divided by 7 is 3. So the, uh, the simplified form of 7 is to 21 is 1 is to 3. Here, 450 is to 200. The highest common factor, the highest number that we can divide both of those by, uh, is 50. The highest number that we can divide them both evenly by is 50. So 450 divided by 50 is 9, and 200 divided by 50 is 4. So the simplified form of 450 is to 200 is 9 is to 4. And so we've divided by 50 for that one, and divided by 50 for that one. It's an equivalent fraction, we've divided them both by the same number. So now we've got a fraction, a ratio with fractions in it, 3 fifths is to 1 half. The, high, the lowest common denominator between 3 fifths and, and 1 half is 10. So if we multiply both of those numbers by 10, we'll, we'll remove the fractions. So 3 fifths multiplied by 10 is 6, and 1 half multiplied by 10 is 5. So the equivalent ratio for this one here is 6 is to 5. Looking now with some mixed numbers, 2 and 1 third is to 1 and 1 quarter. We can't, that's, we've got some fractions there, but we can't easily multiply those two numbers by uh, their lowest common denominator. Uh, but what we can do is convert them to improper fractions first. So 2 thirds, 3 times 2 is 1 plus, uh, 3 times 2 is 6, sorry, plus 1 is 7 thirds, and 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 quarters. So we can then look at the lowest common uh, denominator there, which is going to be 12 between the two, and multiply both, both of those numbers by 12. Multiplying 
7 thirds by 12 we get 28 and multiplying 5 quarters by 12 we get 15. Obviously we don't need to do this step if you've got a calculator that can do um, can, can perform calculations with mixed numbers just input the mixed numbers and multiply by the lowest common denom uh, denominator between the two which is still 12 you can see there. So 2 thirds times 12 is 28 and 1 and 1 quarter times 12 is 15. So looking at our last example, uh, converting the following quantities to the same unit and then expressing them as a simplified ratio. So we've got 4 millimetres to 2 centimetres lengths we're looking at and we're looking at time for this one. So for our first one, 4 millimetres is to 2 centimetres. We can convert the 2 centimetres to millimetres quite easily. There are 10 millimetres in 1 centimetre, so we can multiply by 10. So uh, 4 millimetres is still 4 millimetres, but 2 centimetres times 10 is 20 millimetres. So now they're in the same units, we can treat it as a ratio and we can remove those units. We can remove them because they're in the same units and they're of the same type. They're measure, both measuring length. To get this in simplified form though, we can find the highest common factor of 4 and 20 is 4. So if we divide them both by 4, dividing 4 by 4 is 1 and 20 divided by 4 is 5. So the ratio for these, for these lengths is 1 is to 5. Looking at time now, 25 minutes is to 2 hours. Uh, we need to get these both in the same unit so we can convert the hours to minutes. 25 minutes, uh, it remains unchanged. But 2 hours is equal to 120 minutes because there's 60 minutes in 1 hour. 60 times 2 is 120 minutes. Now they're both in the same unit. We can convert it and remove those units because they're both in the same, in the same set of units. We can express it as a ratio. To express it as a simplified ratio though, we need to find the common factor, the highest common factor between the two. So the highest common factor of 25 and 120 is 5. So 25 divided by 5 is 5, and 120 divided by 5 is 24. So the simplified ratio here for this time, they're both in the same, uh, same type, they're both measuring time, both in the same units now, uh, the simplified ratio is 5 is to 24.